I am Bhagyashri Lamture from AISSMS IOIT Pune. In this video, we are going to see introduction to algorithm and data structures. In the introduction part, we will see data information and data type. So what data? Data is nothing but the information in a form of a computer can use. Okay, and what are information? Any knowledge that can be communicated. So it's a basic knowledge or uh, any information. Next, data type. The specification of how information is represented in the computer as data and the set of operations that can be applied to it. What's the data type? The specification of how information is represented in a computer as a data. When we are going to represent a data or information in a computer, it needs some data type to do the uh, set of operations we can see. Okay. Now we know what's a data type. So on that basis, data structure, what is defined? What it defined data structure? Data structure is a way, data structure is a way to store and organize data so that it can be used efficiently. Is it nothing but the way to store data, data items, any program or organize or methods to uh, that uh, implementation of that data we can see. Data. Here having the another definition for data, data is nothing but the collection of information as we discussed in the first slide or uh, that's a facts, figures, value. Now what's the problem regarding that? Problem is defined as a situation or condition which need to solve to achieve the goals. Algorithm. Algorithm is set of ordered instructions which are written in simple English language. Any program that needs a print step is an algorithm. So we can say it's a set of ordered instructions or the steps to be executed for the particular program. Okay. So data structure that uh, having a data and data types and the algorithm that is nothing but the set of order instructions. Now on that basis abstract data types. What is abstract data types? That is a uh, short form is A D T. So what it mean? Uh, data type is what a data type is a collection of values and set of operations on that values we can see. Okay. So what's the ADT? ADT is useful tool for specifying the logical properties of the of a data type that specify the uh, logical or mathematical properties of that particular data type we know the data types are integer then we can say float character string so while using that data type or uh, we can say while using that in a program that ADT that specify the logical property of that particular data types or that ADT refers to mathematical concept that define the data type that also we can see. Okay, we will move to the next slide. Now here, from problem to data structure, algorithm, data structure that needs a model to the problem. Here, array. Array is nothing but a one data type we can see or uh, that is a collection of similar types of data or data type and these are the data types integer float character string all these are the data types an array is what array is a collection of similar type of data suppose we having a age of students now this is an array which store the age of some particular record or particular students so here I have mentioned the age 15, 17, 20, 23, 24, 21, 22, 30. So we cannot store these value in a single variable while using a data type. Suppose we declare a data type, data type uh, integer A 
is equal to 15. That means that A only store the value 15. It cannot store the remaining all values 15, 17, up to 30. It cannot store more than one value at a single variable. So for that, to reduce that, it needs to design a data structure. And uh, uh, inside that array, array, array is nothing but the one uh, example for that array that store collection of similar types of data means suppose we are going to store the integer integer value more than one so it's a integer array we can see suppose we are going to store a float value so it's a float array we can see character it's a character type of array here age of students so all these values are integer so in one variable that store number of values using array structure okay now we will see the briefly what is that data structure is used for arranging the data and algorithm is used to solve the problem by systematic execution of each step yes it's very important it's a systematic execution of each step each and every step uh, below here we can see I have declared one array elements with index so elements are nothing but the values here age of students here having 15 17 20 here I have declared the element value 10 20 30 40 50 so these are value we are going to store in a single variable so index for that how that access uh, how we can access that using the index so index for that zero for first location array index always start with the zero only next one two three and that the last four so it's zero to four that is nothing but the a of five a of five so it store a five value and that index start with zero so zero one two three four we having the index from zero to four and we uh, we can store the element elements or values 10 20 30 40 we can store another values also here i have mentioned the value with respect to the index okay now it's a very important classification of data structure now we know what's a data structure data structure that divided into two types primitive data structure and non-primitive data structure okay then after that non-primitive again divided again that having two types linear non-linear linear having again static dynamic non-linear tree and graph static uh, we can see array dynamic link list stack queue and non-linear tree and graph okay one by one we will see what is primitive data type or primitive data structure primitive data structures are those which are predefined way of storing data by the system as a uh, example for that integer character float so this data type or this data structure already predefined. So it's a primitive data structure or primitive data type we can see. And opposite to that, that it's a non-primitive. Non-primitive data structure, the data types that are derived from primary data types or we can say the primitive data types are known as non-primitive data types. These data types are used to store group of values or facts or records for example array link list stack and tree and etc graph graph also okay understood primitive that is a already predefined so integer char uh, character float these are the example for primitive data structure and for the non primitive array link list stack tree graph so here we can see array, link list, tag, queue, tree, and graph. All these are included in the non-primitive. In the non-primitive, again that having linear and non-linear. So what's a linear data structure? Linear data structure that travels the data elements sequentially. 
in which only one data element can directly be reached example array here we can say array linked list stack and queue and what is a non linear every data item is attached to several other data items in a way that is specific for reflecting relationship for example graph and tree now in array as we discussed in the previous slide as we discussed as we mentioned there having the age of students and uh, that will store more than one value so it's a similar uh, data types value we can store in a linear data structure so it's a array that linear again divided into static and dynamic static data structure is a static or we can say is an organization or collection of data in a memory that is in fixed size mean means what while uh, suppose we have declared an array a of 10 so it means it can it it will store only 10 records 10 values dynamic uh, dynamically or uh, while the running run time we cannot uh, increase or we cannot uh, what we can say extend the memory size for that array so it's a static and what's a dynamic dynamic data structure the size of the structure is not fixed and can be modified during the operations performed so linked list stack and queue means what while running time or while the um, it not a uh, uh, what we can say in static it's a fixed size and in dynamic it not a fixed size so we can change link list that we can change that uh, we can link one re, uh, one element one value to another then again next 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 and continue so it's a link list or we can say the dynamic data structure that same for the stack and queue okay in the next lecture uh, sorry in the next video we will see what's the algorithm Thank you